confuse y'all. But it's 200 jumps for beginners, 300 for intermediate, and 400 for advanced. I think my... I don't know why that ain't working with that. Okay, we're going to hope that stay there. We'll break you off. Uh, whatever I don't do, I do. I actually was gonna just wait and do them in class tonight. Was like, if you can't take the heat, then make sure that's going. The jump rope is on. That ain't gonna work. Sky out the way. Y'all get to meet Sky in a minute. Nice tight jumps. Just enough to clear that rope. Landing on the balls of your feet. Knees slightly bent, core engage. Elbows at your side. Arms at your side. Just be fair. Ooh, hold on. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh. Um, yeah. Core acting up already. Chin up. Chest up, <laughs> breathing through your nose, going out through pursed lips. Don't jump with your mouth open. Makes it more difficult to breathe and jump. If you can't take the heat, take breaks when necessary. Take your sips of water when necessary. Jump at your pace. I'm supposed to be sleeping. I'm about to jump like the kids. I tell them this is my last vacation day. Here I am. Six in the morning. Up with y'all. <laughs> that ain't accountability. A good accountability buddy. I don't know what it is. Friday I watched them. They didn't know I was watching them. <laughs> I was like, uh-uh. Y'all see how I'm jumping, right? My legs is tight. Huh? Because I saw, you know, Google, uh, Google, Gmail, tell me when y'all log in. Did it tell me the first, the first person to log on? Ow. Because I think the key, you came on, and then you must have went off, and then April logged in. Yeah, April came on after you. So you, yeah, after you left, April had came in. Oh, nobody, so nobody can, um, I know Ms. April work. I know she did it. I was laying there. <laughs> I was laying there. I was like, I don't hear no jumping. Huh? I know you, I see yours in your story. Ms. April always makes sure. It's in her story. She be getting it. <laughs> Ow. So, if you wonder what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the ones that join Zoom. Zoom is open for anybody and everybody. If y'all want to come in, so that it's a more one-on-one, -on -one, not one-on-one -on -one person, but class fill. Woo. Y'all can join Zoom. I'm going to have to put the link up because it's probably way down <laughs> in the fitness page now. But if you go to any of the, the Zoom flyers or posts, the link is always the same. I know. <laughs> it should be, though. I know I... I, know I um. I know I pinned it, but once I pin something else, it moves it. Yeah. 
Ya, dan. All right, I'm at 224. I'll do the rest of mine in class tonight. All right, one minute wall squat. I'll probably finish it before I get done here. <laughs> One minute wall squat. Everybody ready? Weights are optional. Resistance is optional. It's all up to you. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Head, shoulders, back. Everything against that wall. Pulling that core. If you feel pain in your knees, Come up above that pain. Do not squat and sit in that pain. And tell me, I'm going to push through it. No, ma'am, no, sir. Come above it. Don't want to make it worse. Deep breath in your nose. Blow it out through pursed lips. Almost there. 25 seconds. Fifteen. Good job. Come on. And rest. Let's take it down for that one minute plank. choice. Alexa, count down 60 seconds. Go. Basic plank. Everything level. No boobies in the air. Bring it all down nice and level. No hips dip. Don't have those heads down here. Bring it up so you can get some good air. Nice deep breath. Pull in that core. Feet together. If it's hard for you to balance, spread those feet apart. All right? Once again, you can do any plank of your choice. Good job. Come on. Almost there. That back out if necessary. Our legs are off. All right, we're gonna do three sets of vacuum, stomach vacuum. All right, three sets of stomach vacuums, three deep breaths on that third one. You're gonna hold your breath and blow out all the excessive air while continuing holding your breath. Pulling your navel towards the back of your spine. Hold it as long as you can. All right, set one. Let's go. Set number two, let's go. Three minutes, three minutes. Lord Jesus, we done passed out. <laughs> three seconds, five, ten, fifteen, whatever it is. All right, last set. Oh. 
Ooh. Right. <laughs> All right. Get you some water if you need be. Let's grab those luxury fitness hoops. Let's get some extreme power hooping in. This is Sky, S K Y Y. Because of her color, she's blue like the clouds. So I named her Sky. So she is up for raffle. $5 a raffle ticket. You may enter as many times as you like. If you are not in my city, you are responsible for shipping and handling. Sky is valued at $107 plus tax. <laughs> um, so you can put in one entry and win, and you still up. Uh, even if you buy four tickets or five, you're still up. Um, shipping and handling is going to range, depending on where you are, between 45 and 65 bucks. you still up. <laughs> so you're pretty much going to get the hoop for half price. Yes, I'm going to hoop with her this morning. That's why I put on my blue. But don't worry, I always change the wrap and clean her up, wipe her down with some wipes, and rewrap before I send out or give, give it away. Give her away. Ooh, excuse me. Y'all ready? Yeah. Oh, I got to take these sneakers off. All right, Alexa, count down five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Go ahead. Do it. So Alexa, Alexa, <laughs> Sky. <laughs> Maybe her middle name gonna have to be that, right? Sky is five pounds. She's a five pound large, so she's basically a beginner hoop. But hey, you could never, even if you got a luxury fitness hoop, you can never go wrong with a five pounder. And they all kind of weigh different, even though they weigh the same. So, and it, the padding is sometimes different. So no matter what, I got like six five pounders back there. I mean, five, yeah, six, six five pounders back there. And I love them all. They all have their own little special place. Some of them have a smaller circumference. Some of them are all large. So, you know, to each his own. <laughs> But it's a five pound large for a beginner. Custom, not custom made, but custom made, handmade. Five dollars raffle ticket. The information is up on all pages, except for my YouTube. I haven't put it up there yet because I have to actually make a video in order to put it up. And I'm gonna make a video for TikTok too. Cause yeah. <laughs> but you can see the flyer on PK Fitness 1.21, my fit, fit, Facebook fitness page. That's a tongue twister. Facebook fitness page is PK Fitness 4.21. The flyer is pinned to the top over there. You can see it on my personal page. It's pinned to the top there. It's also over in Hoop Therapy. Hoop Therapy is the Hoop Sisters, where Miss Dina, who creates these hoop, created her hoop group. So that's for women only, gentlemen. Sorry. But PK Fitness 4.21 is unisex. And I chose to do this one because it's unisex. A man can hoop with it or a female. Men hoop too. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> so men do extreme powerful too. This is registered fitness equipment. It's not a toy. It's a full body workout, cardio resistant training, toning. It's going to help slim that waist, tone that belly, strengthen your core and your back. Also, while uh, slight movements and moving your legs and your arms. And we do hit workouts with our luxury fitness hoops too, which is coming up soon. <laughs> the hit, the hit to body hoop challenge is coming up. Wanna make for us? <laughs> I said I gotta get us back over at hoop therapy. Get us posting again. Um, so I gotta gotta put up a challenge over there. Um, and you and, and anybody who gets in the challenge um, for the month of May will automatically be entered into a chance to win Sky. You get one free entry as long as you in the challenge for the month of May. Now don't start, and then after the, if you don't win, you quit the challenge. <laughs> Cause I got friends in high places. I'll come confiscate Sky from you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but if you enter the May challenge, you will automatically get a free entry on top of whatever you choose to purchase. There'll be Cash App, PayPal, and Zelle. If you live locally, if you don't do any of those things, email me. We'll figure it out. We'll work it out. I do have Google Pay and other pays. I just don't like those because when I put my card in Samsung Pay. I had got an alert from Capital One that somebody in Kansas, was it Kansas or something, had made a purchase on my credit card. I was like, whoa. I had to call him. I said, um, I'm sitting on my couch at home. <laughs> I ain't down there with Tito and Dorothy. And, right. It was a, what it was, was it was only like, for one thing, why am I going to charge $1.92 on a credit card 
and the interest gonna be more than a dollar ninety two. Like, so they say that's what they do. They'll try a small amount first. Yeah, they did a small amount first, and then, yeah. So I was like, okay, right. So she, they canceled that card, and I got a new one. So I, and I took my card out of Samson Pay, and I was shocked because Samson is usually good about protection. So Samson, I, I had, I know me, I'm good with. I love doing a review, and I'm gonna do a review. On your on their site and on Google, because they can't erase Google. They can erase the negative off of their sites, but they can't erase them off of Google. So I hit them in two places. And they and, and let me tell you, when you do their site, nine times out of ten, they just whatever. They got so many customers, they like whatever. But let that thing get on Google. They will email you, find out what they can do to rectify. I tell people that all the time. Then they want you to take it down or change the style. And I'll be like, no, because this is what happened. I said, I will go back and rebuttal and say that y'all did come back and take, you know, I take care, handled it. But I'm not going to take it down because they know tell how many other people y'all have done this to. When they be doing that, I'll be like, what? You want me to, can you change your rating? No, because at the time what happened was a one. And I said, if I could do a negative one, I would. <laughs> <laughs> they were so, they was like, well, I said, I, I will go back and say after many conversations, I, I you know, it was rectified. For instance, like, I'm going to call them out, Forever 21. I purchased, ooh, that five minutes went quick. All right, other direction, ladies and gentlemen. Alexa, off. Alexa, count down five minutes. Alexa, count down five minutes. Okay. At Christ, Christmas, matter of fact, December 28th, I purchased a gift card for one of my friend's birthday. That was one of the stores she had on her thing. Y'all know when she just got that gift card? Friday. No. You know what? Speaking of gift card games, you Yes, and I was going to say thank you. I'm going to do yours, you know, y'all's individual. Y'all, you know. <laughs> I said thank you on Facebook, but I'm going individually to those who have to sit. It was because I was like, I didn't order nothing. I'm like, did I? I ordered so much for Amazon. I was like, did I? And then when it came out, and then the sad thing is, like, they sent like a thousand sheets. So it took me forever to like actually see who sent it. So I was like, oh, okay. But yeah. but, but So y'all be careful when y'all do the electronic gift cards. Because, well, Forever 21 is this way. I don't know about other places because I usually try to go in the store and get them. So I purchased a card, e gift, gave them the, the birthday person's email. She never received it. There's like, oh, check spam. Not there. She gave me a different email. They told me to give them a second email. Going back and forth with the credit card company, the bank, and the store. Neither one of them doing nothing. When I tell y'all, it went on for months. My mom was like, girl, she, she was like, you just don't let stuff go. I said, even though it's only $50, it's still the principal. It's still the principal. I said, imagine how many other people give up and just let money go. And the money they making off of people doing that. I said, I could have let that go. I said, I, I was going to cash out for the money. And she was like, no, you already. I said, no, that's not the point. I want to give you your birthday gift. So she was so shocked when I when I sent her the thing. So going back and forth, finally get on the phone with somebody. I said, I got time today, Friday. I got time today. I said, I don't care how long I'm going to be on this phone. I'm not getting off. Y'all going to hear me out. Y'all not. They transferred me to three people. By the time I got to the third person, he said, after all of that, I explained everything, how long I've been talking. He said, how about, when I tell you I had to laugh it off because it was, it was him. He said, I'm just going to email the gift, the email gift, um, the gift card to you and you can forward it to your, to your birthday, to your friend. I said, say that again. I said, for four months, we, he said, I said, I gave them the email. He said, once you give an email, we can't switch an email. I said, then why everybody been like, give me another email, give me another email. He said, no, that's why she hasn't received it. When I tell y'all like that, this man did that and was done. Ooh, I went on Google and was like, -da 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 -da. and it did it. Four months of going back and forth, needing an interpreter when I'm talking to half of them. Like, are you serious? I was like, now that's frustrating. And I said, mom, and, and uh, he just was like, girl, you is the boss. She said, I, I said, I would have let it go. But I was like, no, this got to stop because... I know for a fact, like my mom, my older sister, they don't have no patience for that type of stuff. They won't return something. They'll just let it go. They'll just, I'm like, uh-uh. I done paid the credit card 
it was paid immediately when I after I purchased it. So you done got your money, but she still hasn't gotten her gift card. And you want me to just forget about it? No. Then the credit card company, this is the funny thing. They gave me a credit. I saw the credit on the card, right? So I was like, okay, I'm at the mall. I was like, let me go just purchase. I said, no, I'm going to just, I'm going to wait. Why some, I don't know what told me to do that. Went back and looked. They took the credit back. I said, what is going on? I said, I said, I know I'm not going crazy. I saw the negative. Like, the credit, you know, that was credit. I said, I'm not playing with them. I told the bank, I said, I said, it's so funny after I sent that email. I said, I will contact the AG in your area and the Better Business Bureau. I said, do not play with me. I said, I tell them, but I got friends in high places. Y'all don't want this. And they, like, they, they probably be like, this little girl. I'll be like, listen. Give me my fifty. That's a gas. That's a gas. Um, take a gas. Give me my fifty dollars. <laughs> like, I don't let nothing go. I when I tell you T-Mobile, I had so much credit with them and Verizon at one point. Mom, even the workers was like, how? I said, listen. When I go in there and they see that I that I can be like, listen, I'm about to go back to Verizon because y'all tripping. They be like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Yeah, fix this problem because I'm not about to play with y'all. Because Verizon, they got an action class and I still get checks from them. I be like laughing like this is like 10 years, 12. No, I've been with T-Mobile for 15 years. 15 years. I'm like, and I'm still getting checks from Verizon. Because what they were doing was, say like I never paid my bill and I just let it go and join another phone company. They was tacking the amount some people on them onto y'all bills. Acting like it was fees and charges and taxes from wherever so i used to alexa off so my issue was it was just me so when i got a bill i just paid it i didn't look at it. alexa off but verizon taught me that lesson like girl I, look at your bill so that's what made me start looking you know looking at my bill my phone bill i'm like wait a minute what is this fee and then when you call them they got every excuse in the book about what this fee is because they're not in the same state as you so they act as if they can charge you and get away with that well somebody did a class action suit and they have like multiple suits against them for that so what they were doing was the suit the, the thing came out that they was taking money that other people owe them and dispensing it dispersing it out across other people customers bills i said the treachery i was like oh <laughs> i'm <laughs> I'm like, come on. I started reading my bills after that. I said, no, nope, no more just no more just paying. Look at what you're paying. I'm just paying out money. Like, okay, this is what my bill is. Because I left them because when I went to Jamaica, even not using your phone, and if y'all called me, they still charged me. So I would come back, and I would have a $400, $500 phone bill and wasn't even using my phone, wasn't answering no calls, wasn't responding no text. But they still charged me for the incoming. I said, where they do that at? And they got me twice on that. And then that's when I switched to T-Mobile because they were the, the only international company at that time. Yep. All right, ladies. Butts and guts tomorrow. Woo. Y'all ready for this May challenge? So this is Sky. Y'all get y'all raffle tickets. Yes. She is. When I saw her, I was contemplating. I was like, should I keep her? I was like, y'all know every time I get a hoop to raffle, I'll be like, I want to raffle her. Oh. <laughs> And then I'm like, then I'm gonna have her send me another one, and that one's just gonna be just as good. I'll be like, so it's so hard. So she'll be here with her cousins until the raffle next Sunday. I did not put a time on the flyer because I do not know. It'll be sometime in between church and the comedy, the Mother's Day comedy show that I'm going to. So somewhere in between, I ain't gonna say what's I was gonna say high noon, but I don't really know what high noon is. <laughs> so somewhere between, let's say like probably around three o'clock ish. I'm not doing the big one like I always do with the extra stuff. I always say that, and then I end up having a bunch of stuff. So, we'll see. But I'll let you guys know the time ahead of time that I'm going to wrap this off. So, I'll see y'all in the morning. Alrighty. All right, ladies. Y'all have a great day. Let me finish my jumps, and I know my thing has stopped. That way I ain't got to do it later. I was at 224. Ugh. Ugh. Even though I'm going to still jump when I get to class, because I jump while they work out. Great way to tone your legs. Bring it up, bring it out. Uh, 
How y'all doing this morning? Good morning, good morning, good morning for those just coming in at PK Fitness 4.21. Alright. So I need to do like 175 jumps or something. Something. And then my April challenge will be done. I know this went out. That's why I had to remember what jumps I had. Break it down, break it down. Started to keep going. <laughs> ah! Oh, my goodness. Come on, these last fifteen. branch you in. Beginners is 200 jumps. Intermediate is 300. Advanced is 400. Print the flyer so I can show y'all. I had her to talk about hip flexors, but we was talking about reality, so. <laughs> so that didn't happen. Oh, I'll talk about hip flexors tomorrow. And this done messed up. 80% nutrition, 20% exercise, that will give you 100% results because results require action. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Choices, chances, change. You must make a choice to take a chance or life will never change for you. If it's not a struggle, it's not progress. It's not progress. 
It's not a struggle. Oh, uh, y'all see them guns? Don't look like they there, though. <laughs> y'all ready? Come get y'all some. Come get y'all some. All right. Giddy up. Giddy up. Giddy up. We get this work over here, even at home. Even at home. We put in this work.